What's great about the Chinese classes that Aihua offers um, is that when you first come over here, assuming that you've never learned Chinese before, um, you'll be put into a beginner level class um, along with your, your other colleagues who have just arrived here. So everyone's in the same situation as you. Everyone is going through the, the same communication problems, uh, trying to overcome this language barrier uh, in this country that they've just moved to. So. Um, these classes are a really fun and exciting uh, way to be in a group setting, to learn this new language, um, and to do it alongside of the people that you work with. Uh, the Chinese lessons have been very useful for me because, you know, we live in China. So, whenever you go on vacation or you go to the supermarket or you do anything where you have to communicate with someone who's not from Iowa, it's very useful to have a lot of these words and phrases that you learn in class. As you continue studying and your, your level gets higher, there's different classes to suit different levels. So uh, there's quite a few different um, beginning level courses uh, for the people that have just come over to China uh, to teach them the basic communication skills. Uh, but then it goes up into uh, elementary level, pre-intermediate, uh, intermediate level, and then it goes into advanced level co courses. Uh, two mornings a week I go to lessons in the school and um, they were always very helpful, yeah, uh, starting me off learning Chinese um, and uh, at the beginning when I came here I knew absolutely nothing so uh, I think um, it's been going pretty good the past few months as well as going to the lessons in the school I also go to a private tutor so three days a week I have Chinese lessons and I think it's been a huge help. We work through like a particular book, she recommends a particular book that we use, uh, the Chinese teacher does. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to use that. If you want to buy your own book and bring in your own book, if you want to study for the HSK exams, uh, the Chinese teacher is very flexible. Uh, the HSK exams are the Chinese government's uh, language profi proficiency exams for foreigners. Uh, there's six levels. One uh, is beginner and six is uh, native speaker level. I would like to start with HSK 3 and then do four and so forth and I'd like to do it because I'd like to add it to my um, CV for my future career. Uh, I am looking to uh, use Chinese uh, professionally at some point in the future and so I am hoping to get either a level five or six rating uh, before leaving China. So what I personally like about the IHOA classes is that I'm able to utilize them to help me meet my personal goals with Chinese. So the more you study, um, the different goals that you have. So like for me, I wanted to study for HSK, so I used the classes to help me study for those exams. Um, you could go there to just practice your spoken Chinese if that's what you're looking for, or if you want to learn more about Chinese culture or Chinese characters. All you have to do is talk to the Chinese teachers about what you're looking for, what you're looking to get out of the classes, um, and they'll be able to adapt their lesson to, to help you with those things. Grace is really great. She's really flexible, and um, she tailored my lessons for me, so I focus more on reading and writing with her, with a textbook that I brought in by myself. Um, I really like Grace. I think she's great. Um, and she really helps me on top of my self-study that I do at home. I find studying Chinese really interesting and uh, I just think it's a really nice thing to do to start learning another language, to be able to communicate with people here. Uh, it's been a big help. Hello everyone, my name is Grace. I'm one of your Chinese teachers. I'm so glad to be your Chinese teacher. Hello, my name is April. I'm one of your Chinese teacher. I came from I come from Liaoning, uh, northeast northeast of China. I graduated from Chifu Normal University. Uh, I like cooking, traveling, and reading. Last two years, I worked in Thailand, uh, Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. In our Chinese class, you can practice. Uh, listening, speaking, uh, reading, and uh, writing. At the very beginning, we will learn pinyin, uh, and uh, then we will learn something about the Chinese characters, and then uh, we will learn some phrases and sentences like 你好, 谢谢, and 对不起, uh, hello, 
uh, thank you and sorry. <laughs> In my class, I will teach you some practical dialogues and uh, it makes you use in daily life uh, make your Chinese time more e make your Chinese time easier and uh, except dialogues I will add some Chinese culture to make our class more interesting as you make progress you will belong to high level classes and you will use different books and uh, mm, let's work hard in Chinese learning, it opens a new window in your life. I don't want to just be your teacher. I want to be your friends or along with partners. Let's work hard together uh, to enjoy your Chinese time. Twice a week I go to Chinese language classes that I will provide for free. Um, I also have a tutor uh, who's really strict, which is actually a great motivator. Um, I also use um, a dictionary app called Pleco, which is great, uh, especially for learning uh, Chinese characters. I don't really have an awful lot of tricks when it comes to learning Chinese. I uh, rely a lot on the classes and then what I've learned in classes, trying to apply that in everyday life and trying to speak it as much as possible, um, which can be a little bit daunting. but. Uh, you can't learn a language without making mistakes, so you just gotta keep trying to speak it as much as possible. We use a textbook and I learn a lot of vocabulary out of the textbook. I make handwritten flashcards uh, to study while on the bus or the subway. Uh, I also try to uh, have conversations with people at the grocery store or restaurants I go to a lot and uh, build uh, relationships with different Chinese people. When I first started learning Chinese, I used to make really big posters and I would write out whole phrases using both characters and pinyin as well as English. And then I would take individual characters out of those phrases and learn them off by heart using online programs like Memrise and Anki. Uh, these days I sit on the subway or on the bus and if there's characters I don't recognise in adverts, I translate them using an app on my phone called Pleco. You have to do a bit of self-study when you're learning Chinese characters, so I practice writing them out at home and I have a few apps on my phone to practice uh, writing out Chinese characters as well. Um, that's the way I study most of the time. Um, one of the most rewarding things about learning Chinese is that, you know, finally you can communicate with people and you finally start to understand the culture, you can learn more about the history. But my favourite thing has been being able to tell stories and jokes in Chinese and actually having people understand me and laugh at my stories. The most rewarding thing for me uh, when, when it comes to learning Chinese is just being able to communicate, communicate for day-to-day -day things like ordering food or going somewhere in a taxi and other kind of simple day-to-day -day things. Um, it's also really good to impress any visitors that you have, especially like my parents visited me here and they were really impressed with uh, the Chinese that I could speak. Uh, learning Chinese uh, is rewarding because it opens up uh, opportunities uh, you wouldn't otherwise have to learning about Chinese uh, culture and uh, interacting with uh, Chinese people. There is no end goal with learning Chinese or with learning English. There's only trying to improve and become better and get to a point where you're comfortable enough to be able to communicate in either language. My advice for anybody who wants to learn Chinese is that don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself and say the wrong thing at the wrong time and don't let slow progress or mistakes get you down and keep you from learning the language. My advice for anyone coming over here to study Chinese would be to go to the classes first of all and then use a little bit of spare time to review and learn some uh, learn some additional material and then actually go out there and use it and talk to people. Chinese people are very open and very friendly. So even if you don't say everything exactly right or you might misuse a word, you might mis mispronounce it, they'll laugh and they'll tell you you're great. Definitely take the classes that are offered by the school. Um, go home, review and study the material that was learned. 
Um, go outside and actually use the language. You can walk right outside your front door, or you're in China and you can use the language every single day. Um, write down any questions or uh, something that's confusing about the language and then bring those back to the, the classes and show them to your Chinese teacher so they can help you better dissect the language and understand it better so you can use it in your everyday life. Um, Chinese is hard, it is difficult, I'm not going to lie, but proficiency in the language is attainable with um, some discipline, self-studying, and the IHWA classes and the support systems that are available to you.